Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, and today I'm gonna be doing a video about these uh, pastel pencils. Uh, they're soft pastel pencils. Um, it says chalk pastel pencils. Now the listing says tinted graphite. I don't know why, because it's not. It's just uh, chalk pastel pencil. And uh, the wonderful people at Lightwish have asked me if I wanted to try them out. Um, I actually um, have tried out their super golden markers in the past, which I absolutely love for coloring and they're amazing. They actually sent me another box because I started running out, <laughs> just so nice. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Lightwish. So um, the really kind lady there was telling me, why don't do you wanna try this? And I said, I don't know if it's gonna work for coloring books because we have really smooth paper and I feel like you need like a nice rough paper for this. But she said, you know, why don't you try it out and see, you might like it. So uh, they sent it to me, which I'm very grateful for. And it comes in, they're beautiful looking pencils here. I love that it, I love that they're like wood. And um, I like that it's not too thin of a barrel. Uh, it's Neoni, so I'm, I'm guessing that Lightwish is the distributor. Uh, somebody was saying that. I can't remember who, but that makes sense. And there aren't any color names, but there are numbers. And they actually did put some light fast ratings. So you have the stars here for whoever is interested. For example, the purple has one star, so that's not very light fast, but some of them have five stars. So when you open it up, um, you get uh, this little uh, pad here, which helps protect it. And there's two trays. I love how they put like these rubber bands here to help remove the tray. So it's very easy to get to. Anyway, I moved them to my own order because they came in a different order. But I love the color palette. It's very like fall-ish. I don't know if you can tell here, I swatched them out. And, um, and then I fixed it with my Degas Fixative which is a non-toxic, all-natural fixative. And it's kind of watery, so it does warp the paper, but I don't mind. And so I prepared a couple of clips of me playing with the chalk pastels. I thought it would be cool to do backgrounds with them, but I did try other stuff too. So I hope you enjoy the video and let's get started. So right over here, I took uh, Hannah Carlson's Daydreams because it's just one of my experimental books. I'm not too precious about it and just trying to have fun with it with like mixed media and stuff. So I decided to pick a page that I thought would kind of go with the colors, the color palette of the pencils. And I'm just going to town starting uh, the background basically. And I am noticing that it's very, the, the pencils are soft. They're kind of going down really easily. Um, and um, they're, they're pretty pigmented. The only problem is, is that when I, when I go in to kind of blend, uh, smudge it out a little bit, a lot of the pigment gets lost because the paper is so smooth that you know it doesn't have that much to grip to. And this is actually one of the less smooth papers that we have in the coloring world. I mean, her paper is amazing, but um, and so I'm just doing my best as you can see I'm laying it down smudging it out and it's going really quickly so that's what's nice is you can create a background really really fast and um, and kind of get into those little spaces the detailed spaces that's what I was thinking when she first offered me the chalk um, pastel pencils I thought well that would be great to kind of get into the little spaces where your um, pan pastel tools, you know, the, the tools don't go, um, the soft tools don't go in. So you could use that. Here I'm doing like a little ground, a little bit of like the ground with the brown. And then I am um, taking my satin glazing liquid to kind of fix it. So there I am trying to fix it. And it is a workable fixative. Well, it, to me it is. <laughs> so I'm going to work on that as well afterwards. But Right here, while that's drying, I decided to open up my one of my watercolor books. It's called um, Rainforest Escape, and uh, the paper is rougher. 
it's more like a cotton type of paper so I thought um, that it, it might be good to try it on that kind of paper so I just am coloring the leaves and the branch there and um, I decided to use some other colors for what look like fruits of the branch I don't know what kind of fruit this is or what kind of tree it is but just having fun using the colors that are available and it is going down um, a little bit better the the pastel is gripping a little bit more to this paper and I'm not blending it out I'm just straight coloring and then I will decided I will probably fix it with my Degas fixative which is a spray it's kind of like a watery spray so and then I and then that is a workable fixative so I will go on top of that as well here I'm deciding to the next day after it was dry I decided you know what I want more of more pigment more uh, background um, colors in the background so I'm just going on top of the satin glazing liquid and just adding more colors there so <clears throat> I felt like I wanted it to be um, you know the entire background full of color so that's what I'm doing there just picking up different pencils and uh, going to town yeah so I'm just you can see I'm just picking up different pencils and I feel like because there is already a base layer of the of the pastel this layer is going on a little bit more pigmented and then I decided to try um, blending out with my finger and that is working really nicely so it's really easy to cover a lot of ground really quickly with these pencils because um, yeah, they just cover ground really, really fast. And you can smudge it out with your finger. So that's what I'm doing right there. And um, I think I'm spraying it again. Yep. So that is all. Okay. So after playing with the pencils a bit, <clears throat> I've decided to uh, open up my Fairies in Wonderland. I haven't done any page in here yet. And I love these books. I saw them on Doodle Robot's channel. I told you guys before. And so I decided to take, um, there isn't actually a, a true blue, so I'm going to take the closest things to blue because this looks like an underwater scene to me. And when I thought about pastel pencils, I thought they would be great for when I want to do pan pastel, but I can't get into the little areas. So to me, that's what uh, pastel pencils would be useful for. I thought about, you know, when for coloring. So let's try it out. I'm going to go in here with the purple first and I'm wondering if I should use my finger. Maybe later I'll use the little applicator um, blender. So far it's going great and yeah this is a, I sharpen the pencils and this is a great way to get in there. Let me get my little applicator tool here. I don't want to push away too much of the pigment. And then, you know, you can go over it. Once I fix it with the satin glazing liquid, I could go on top with pencil. So I am going to do that and speed it up for you guys.
Okay, so I'm back and I'm ready to put my satin glazing liquid to fix this area. I think I put too much there, but you don't really need that much, but that's okay. Um, okay, so I just have like a cheapy brush here, acrylic brush. Yeah, I definitely put way too much. Whoops. That's okay, I'll wipe some off here. And then I have a smaller brush to go into the smaller areas. So that's my smaller brush and I'm gonna go in there fix it, fix the uh, pastel pencil. So I'm gonna speed you up a little. So yeah, I'm just speeding up here the uh, fixing with the satin glazing liquid. Make sure you do a really thin layer so that you can work on top with pencil. Okay, so the satin glazing is dry and it really fixed it nicely. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna do like a small section um, and then I will add a little pencil on top and I will show you just kind of like how, uh, I think it's nice to see a little bit of an end product, you know, just I'll do like a small section. So um, right now I'm using my um, Karen Dash Super Color watercolor pencils. And um, they're kind of like my go-to uh, watercolor pencil. They're right on my desk, because you guys know. So um, I will speed this up and I will come back. So I'm just filling it up there with my Caran d'Ache Super Color Soft uh, Watercolor Pencils. Just so we can kind of see what it looks like with the color in the foreground as well. And I think that really shows how the background will pop out. And then uh, right here I'm just using one of the Super Golden markers. The It's like a, the orangey gold one. Okay, so now <clears throat> that I filled in that section, just so you could see, I'm gonna go over the fixed chalk pastel pencil and smooth out a little bit of the edges here. Let's see. And I'm just using my luminance pencils and I have a light fast pencil here. I got a couple of light fast pencils um, recently uh, when I went to Blick in Las Vegas. So yeah, I'm just, as you can see, I'm just smoothing out like the edges so they're not as like harsh. Um, and you can, that's what's great about fixing a pan pastel with a satin glazing liquid, a chalk pastel with a satin glazing liquid, is that you can um, still go on top with pencil. Unless it's too thick, like right here, I can see it's a little bit thick. So you don't want to, you really want a thin layer so that you can work on top of it. So there you go, that, that is the section there. 
And I think that that is probably um, the best way, oops, excuse me. The best way to use these pencils is, um, I would say, in conjunction with uh, chalk pastel for the background, just to get into those little uh, spaces. And it's much, much faster than pencil because um, it's a very pigmented and goes it goes down really, really fast. You know what I mean? So if I were to do that with pencil, it would take more layers and um, a little bit harder on the wrist. So... Yeah, I would say that I really like this for um, getting into the spaces where I'm doing a pen pastel background. Um, so I was able to finish it just to kind of show you guys that in here. And I love the results. Um, I think it's a great uh, way to use them for the background. And I am going to leave a link uh, for these in the description box below. Thank you so much to Lightwish for sending them to me. I had a blast like playing with them and I I'm going to continue uh, playing with them more and I will report back to you guys. But yeah, if you're interested, I'll leave the link below. So that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.